Well, hey everybody, it's Sandy, and welcome back to my channel dedicated to helping you advocate for your own health one topic at a time. Okay, guys, it's day 12, so I've taken a couple days off of videoing. Last time I did a video update, it, uh, it was for both days 8 and 9, and I had said I tested negative on day 8, and I tested negative again on day 10. There was a little discussion in the Facebook group that we had, so... Um, there's, there's controversy now on whether to retest, and the predominant thought in the medical community is to go by the symptoms, as long as the symptoms are going away after day five to wear a mask after five days of isolation and then wear the mask through day 10. Uh, I did that, uh, but some people choose to test, some people choose to test twice, 48 hours apart to get two negative tests. The, the current recommendation though, published recommendation, is really to only do that if you still have symptoms or if your symptoms return, then you have to think about rebound. So I haven't had any of that. Um, I have some lingering stuff like I always get at the end of a cold. In fact, when I have a cold or the flu, much more so if I had the flu, which I've only had a few times, thank goodness, um, I get a lot of coughing like reactive airway that usually lasts for weeks um, and uh, reactivity just clearing my throat a lot and stuffiness and things like that. So this is a lot milder than that. Although I have to say like my expectations got calibrated because I had such a mild initial like infection and it got quickly, it so much better so quickly that um, now is the part where it sort of like hangs on a little bit and it's kind of disappointing. I mean, systemically, I think we both feel well. Um, we are both feeling like tired still, but it's more like at the end of the day, it's certainly a lot better than a week ago. But uh, I'll notice sometimes I get to like the mid-afternoon and I'm kind of tired. So I read that people with uh, mild cases of COVID, 70 to 80 percent of them have uh, tiredness and fatigue for two to three weeks. So, OK, I'm still I'm under two weeks at this point. So, yeah, I do have a little bit of the stuffiness like continuing in my ear. I have, uh, as a matter of background, I have some eustachian tube dysfunction in this ear, so it doesn't take much. Like there can be something blooming out or whatever, and then this ear feels plugged and I'm pulling on it. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty mild, but before this, it was just particularly good. I was having an unusually good, um, going through a good period of time with this ear, and so now um, now that I've had gotten had COVID, um, it's, it's a little bit full. It's, I don't think I would notice it too much today if I didn't know, but, uh, I have a little bit of that, <clears throat> that clearing my throat, but really not coughing or anything like that. So I'm very pleased about that. Um, I will, you know, be happy, uh, if, and when some of this tiredness wanes away. Uh, but I'm, it's not really stopping me from doing things. I did go back to exercising with my trainer. I started, uh, yesterday. So that was day 11 and i do a weight program it's like a heavy slow weight training it's it's pretty tough and i thought it would be a lot tougher for me than it was it, it was hard but uh, i thought i would have a very hard time coming back like maybe i would get winded easily or something like that and that really didn't happen i had more like localized certain like muscle weakness just because i hadn't um, done it in a couple of weeks but uh, i was really glad i did that and i felt quite good for quite a while afterwards so i thought that was uh, really good news uh, I just did want to quickly address, I, I think I touched on it before, the Enovid. People had asked me, was I using the Enovid all the way through, like during the time when uh, we had gotten our booster shots and about a month later decided to start doing things and then travel and, and reduce our mitigation. And yes, I was using the Enovid. And was I disappointed that it didn't stop me from getting infected? And, you know, looking back, I actually think the Enovid probably helped a lot. Um, and I'll tell you why. I had said that I got my shot six weeks before I got infected, but that was wrong. I realized I miscalculated. It was actually about eight and a half weeks. So it wasn't that unusual. I thought, wow, six weeks is kind of quick, you know, to get infected. But I know of plenty of cases where people got the Omicron um, bivalent booster and then eight weeks later or so got infected, two months. So yeah, um, well, given that, and I, I know this is not a study, obviously, this is just sort of anecdotal, but I do think that it's not uncommon to get quite sick with the infection, even if you've had the Omicron booster, if you have your breakthrough around eight weeks, probably more if you had your breakthrough much longer um, after the shot. But um, our cases were very, very, very mild, both of us. And I do wonder if that end of it helped more than I gave it credit for. So maybe it wasn't enough to stop us from getting infected, but maybe it kept the viral load down because the initial phase of the infection during the acute phase, we just got better really like by leaps and bounds. Like the night zero, 
when I had tested and actually tested negative the, the, when my symptoms started, um, I had chills. Like I felt like I was gonna get febro. And the next morning already, I was like, wow, I oddly feel better. Although I have cold symptoms, like clearly cold symptoms and so did my husband. And then of course we tested, we were positive. But I, I wonder if that was the end of it. I, here's the way I look at it. It's one of these things where I do lots of things. I did lots of different things. And I think maybe the whole is more than some of the parts. So uh, I'll keep using that, um, you know, twice a day, probably for a long time now when I, as I go out and do things. Um, somebody asked me if I wish I'd done anything differently. I'd only wish I brought my favorite pillow with me on the trip, <laughs> but I didn't really have room for it anyway. Um, I'm really glad that I did it. I'm really glad I got out and about. And I had said something about, I'm going to do more of a, an in-depth video on this, but I had said something about like being away from my environment that I'd been in for the last three years. Um, that I think was, I just think there was a low level like association, just even with the environment that churned, um, from all this mitigation, some degree of hypervigilance to the point of almost anxiety and um, just, I think, disordered almost. I don't want to say disordered thinking because that's kind of a clinical term, but I, I think it, it had more of an impact on me than I realized. Let's put it that way. And now that I'm back and I've been back for like uh, a week, uh, almost a week, I... I think there's something to that and I'm going to have to be working on that and I'm going to talk more about what I've noticed in another video. So yeah, there's just something about being back in this environment that I um, associate with the last three years that's really been hard for me. So anyway, I'll let you guys know how that goes. It, overall, we're all moving in the right direction. Uh, I wish I didn't have some of this <clears throat> lingering stuff. The, you know, if it was a cold, I wouldn't be worried about it given that it, it was COVID. So now it gives me something to worry about. Um, but I think that overall, it's everything is really um, within the realm of to be expected and probably anything better would be overzealous. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. I, I am going to travel again. People ask me about that. Yes, I am. I'm actually going to visit my daughter in a couple weeks, going to visit some in-laws a couple weeks after that. So um, I feel like I've, I've, I've got to keep going with this next phase. And I think it's far better for me at this point. Again, me, I'm not telling anybody else what to do. I just think it might be helpful um, for people who are also thinking about how to make their new normal. So uh, that's the check-in anyway for day 12. Um, I'm happy to report it and I hope it's helpful. And until next time, be well. Bye-bye.